The fight for who will head BMC heats up and the BJP's task looks cut out for it as sources tell Magic Pricks now that Shiv Sena might go with the MNS and Congress might join hands with the NCP. The Anti-Corruption Bureau arrests a planner and architect from Sirko for allegedly demanding and accepting a bribe of 4 lakh rupees. A storm water drain in Bengaluru turns into a death trap for seven-year-old Rakesh, civic bodies, BBMP and the BDA. In the meantime, blame each other. And four days after DU student Gurmeher Kaur filed a complaint against social media trolls threatening her with rape and death, no arrests, no headway made so far. You're watching The Big Story, I'm Amita Balachandra. Shocking case of civic apathy in Bengaluru, where an unattended open straw water drain claimed a seven-year-old kid's life incident occurred in Nagadevana Halli area. Fire brigade personnel took three hours to retrieve the body of Rakesh because it was dark and the drain was filled with sewage. Now, the victim was the son of two daily wage earners who were working on the construction of an apartment near the drain. Meanwhile, City civic body BBMP has blamed the incident on BDA or Bengaluru Development Authority. A civic apathy has come to the fore here in Bengaluru. In fact, it's the blame game between the BDA and the BBMP. What we know is that a seven-year-old boy, Rakesh, fell into an open drain when he went to answer uh, nature's call. In fact, uh, what we know is that the BDA blamed the BBMP for not closing the open drain. But however, the BBMP, Siddhe Gauda, that is an engineer of stormwater drain, immediately blamed the BDA for not, uh, in fact, developing the lake, which is right next to this storm water drain. However, what we know is that uh, Mayor G. Padmavati has already paid an ex gratia of 1 lakh rupee to the uh, family. Also, what we know need to be taken into consideration is that this particular storm water drain was encroached by two builders and right now the BBMP is investigating this incident. In Bengaluru, Shija for Magic Breaks now. In fact, uh, on the big story, we're joined in by Veera Badrapa. Joint Commissioner of the BBMP. Uh, Mr. Veera Badrapa, thank you so much for joining us here on Magic Bricks. Now, tell us, at this point in time, we've lost a life in this open uh, stormwater drain in Bengaluru. What exactly went wrong? Hello? Yes, please go ahead. Uh, madam, uh, this show, the Nagadavali Lake, uh, it will come under the uh, Rajaresh Nagar zone, madam. But uh, that up to lake, uh, BBMP has developed a drain and also we closed the drain. When uh, reaching the tank bed, uh, that is the lake uh, uh, surrounding, that will come to BDA area. So BDA has to develop that uh, drain and also tank. Uh, so there is some dispute between some private owner and the BDA uh, telling that the property belongs to some private person. So, because of some but Mr. Veer Badrapa, tell me this, this lake was 60 meters away from the stormwater drain and the stormwater drain lies uh, in the purview of the BBMP. Okay, madam, that's what I'm telling. There is dispute some, uh, between some uh, private owner, that is, he is claiming it, the land belongs to that private owner. But uh, that is the dispute between BDA and the private owner. So due to that problem, they have not developed properly that uh, uh, drain, madam, and the tank also. But there are also reports suggesting that there was no fencing, no uh, uh, security personnel in the area. That's okay, madam. Because of the, the dispute, uh, BDI, uh, BDI has to take up the work, madam. But uh, as per my information, BDI has to take up the work because of dispute, they could not take up the work. So, for that reason, that is a held up, madam. So, are you Any saying that it's not the BBMP's fault, but the BDA's fault? Yeah, madam, because up to BBMP's part, uh, we are from a star motor drain, we are from BD, B, BBMP, uh, BBMP developed a drain and also we covered the with uh, BBMP drain also. The portion, what the uh, portion will come to BDA, 
there is some dispute madam because of that only they have not taken work madam properly but mr veer brother pa the kid fell into the open drain which comes under the purview of the bbmp in fact uh, uh, stay with us we are joined in by mukunda an activist uh, uh, mr mukunda tell me this uh, the civic bodies are blaming each other at this point who is to be blamed here see the may op construction operation and maintenance of uh, storm water drains in bengaluru is the sole responsibility of bbmp uh the engineer saying that it is a, a bds property there is a dispute between a private land owner and bda and all that is only a uh, ruse to avoid the responsibility because uh, the uh, if you leave the storm water drain open like that and uh, allow children to freely walk into that then who is responsible there is neither bda nor bbmp but actually bbmp should take care to see that it is protected it is fenced off uh, security posted if there is a dispute fine till the dispute is resolved you see that you maintain the security and uh, uh, a fence also that should be the responsibility of bbmp mr veerbhadra pa answer that question why wasn't the entire area you know fenced off why was there no security personnel because Mr Mukunda is clearly saying it's the BBMP's responsibility. Madam okay but thing is you know that the developing area is a dispute under dispute it comes under BDA area madam BDA has to develop because of dispute only they not, could not develop that area. That uh, BBMP patch we have done the work madam train work. All right Mr Mukunda uh, you have the, anything to say to that he says of course that it's yeah, the encroachment the, the and it's the BDA's the, fault. the question is that it's not the question of whose fault it is but the question of who is responsible for this see they if there is a dispute the public will not be aware of the dispute till the dispute is resolved somebody will have to take care of its safety security for the people and uh, that is solely the responsibility of bbmp bbmp cannot escape its responsibility by just saying that uh, bda has not resolved the issue with some private developer or private uh, property or land owner and till it is resolved we can't do anything and all that now unfortunately the life of one child is lost there who is going to pay for that who is going to replace that child for the parents see that is a human life we should have the value for human life in our country and we should see to it that some person in bbmp is held accountable for this in fact uh, if uh, today it's this child tomorrow it could be somebody else uh, mr veerbhadra pa tell me this you're clearly saying that uh, it's not the bbmp's responsibility but if that were the case why has the mayor now gone ahead and paid that compensation of 1 lakh rupees madam see because due to human humanitarian consideration is not come by, by bbmp or bda which are the uh, problem but uh, due to humanitarian concentration our uh, honorable mayor uh, declared and we have given compensation anyhow we will try to solve the problem madam we will uh, discuss with the bda also and we will solve the problem with uh, discussing with the private person also madam mr mukunda uh, i want you to come in here tell me this um, what, this is no, a pure case of civic of negligence uh, uh, what what are the precautions yeah, that uh, uh, any agency here in the case of bbmp must take where, in a case like this as a as a responsible civic body bbmp will have to take care of all these things in a proper way there may be another 10 disputed properties like that where you leave the drain open drain uh, unprotected and such things can repeat it should not happen if it should not happen then even if it is disputed they should take care to see that it is protected nobody should be able to step into that that is the basic responsibility of bbmp All they right. cannot simply say that they have given a compensation of 1 lakh of rupees for a child and uh, wash their hands off it 
fair enough. Uh, we're joined in by uh, S. Harish, uh, who's the ex-mayor of the BBMP. Uh, Mr. Harish, thank you so much for joining us here on Magic Bricks. Now, civic body is clearly passing the buck here. Uh, BDA is, of course, saying that it's not their fault. Uh, the stormwater drain was 60 meters away from the lake and the BBMP saying that uh, the lake work was incomplete and that's why this uh, uh, mishap has taken place. What's your view? Basically, we, we had some questions. So, there is a building under construction. And if there is a building under construction. Mr. Mukunda, one second. One second, one second, one second, Mr. Mukunda. Mr. Harish, go on. Okay, okay. I think some tenor mistakes were transferred to BDA for development of works, which was to be renovated by BBA, BDA itself. And one of the lake which the mishap happened recently, that, that lake was taken by BDA for uh, renovation works and uh, to beautify that lake. See, actually, if it was uh, if all the lakes, we are there with uh, one agency. Mr. Can Harish, can you hear me? Please go ahead. Yeah, I see. If uh, BDA is supposed okay. to take care of the develop... Sorry? Okay, we seem to ha be having a, a problem with the connection there. Uh, Mr. Mukunda, tell me this. What uh, does the BBMP uh -huh. need to uh, do right now to make sure that things like this don't happen uh, going forward? BBMP should take care to see that they identify such places where the stormwater drain is not a protected area. Uh, there must be some security posted there till the development work is completed or till the dispute is resolved. Otherwise, such things can repeat. As you rightly said, there may be other uh, children also getting into this stormwater drain and uh, losing their life. So it is the responsibility of BBMP, they should provide the security in terms of a proper fencing, in terms of proper security round the clock. Also tell me this, uh, the one lakh rupee compensation that's been given to the family, at the end of the day the larger purpose is to ensure things like this don't happen in the future. So that compensation, uh, you know, is not going to uh, uh, be sufficient. Well, this compensation of one lakh of rupees is, I think, is a joke. Let me tell you that. Because we should have value for life and the value of a small uh, uh, child, a seven-year-old child, is uh, not uh, uh, going to be compensated by just paying one lakh of rupees. Something more needs to be done. And uh, they can't uh, make this tall claims that um, humanitarian grounds are giving. It is their, sorry to use this word, it is their goddamn duty to see that the life of the citizen is protected in Bengaluru. It is a civic agency in charge of all these things and they have got to be very, 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 very careful and responsible towards this. They just can't uh, uh, make statements like this, saying that on humanitarian grounds we give. What is this humanitarian ground? If the same thing, sorry to again ask such a question, if the same thing happens to uh, one of the children who uh, uh, belongs to a BBMP or BDA employee, then will they keep quiet? They will go on strike. Rightly so. It should not happen. It should not happen to anybody. Whether it is a BBMP employee's child or BDA employee's child or an ordinary construction worker's child or the child of a rich person. But we are giving one lakh and saying that it has been given on a humanitarian ground is a real joke, I tell you. Okay, Mr. Mukunda, please stay with us. Uh, we also have uh, S. Harish back yeah. on the phone line with us. Uh, uh, Mr. Harish, uh, uh, you know, uh, at this point in time, the fact of the matter is that uh, uh, this has taken place and uh, the stormwater drain was open and there was no fencing or security personnel in that area. So what do you make of the fact that the BBMP is now saying that it's not their responsibility, that it is the BDA which is responsible for this? See, ma'am, uh, I was uh, talking to you, I think it got disconnected. See, accountability should be fixed. It, nobody should run away from their uh, responsibilities. Uh -huh. The chief engineer of BBMP, the chief engineer of uh, BWSSB, the chief engineer of BDA. The, all the three people should be brought to the single round table, make them sit, and fix the accountability. And here, yeah, see, the contractor also plays a role here. Because that I think there was some construction work going on there. You should have put a security guard there to take care of that open drain. And the second thing is, see, even my BBMP engineers also should take care. 
if they are if they are by chance uh, i think this was uh, uh, given to bda by bbmp long time back it was handed over to bda and the bda engineers also they should take care whoever it is from uh, right now i heard somebody telling whoever children it is whoever it is it is a child loss nobody can uh, talk uh, the different things so mr that. harish are you saying that all the agencies are collectively responsible for this yes ma'am see we are they are all working for the government of karnataka they are not working for some other agency i think they should uh, they are, they are right from the beginning they are telling all these people should be brought under one uh, umbrella to work because there is lot of uh, confusion between this uh, agencies there is no uh, synchronization between these agencies one people don't know what they are doing the other people sit we lay a road in bbmp today tomorrow bwc people will uh, uh, correct uh, the, the cut that road for putting some uh, lines even the kptcl people bescom people also cut the roads dig the roads it is whenever it is laid i think all these three people should be responsible no? they should know that it's a new road they should not uh, dig it and Th today what has happened i don't uh, definitely i tell you the whoever is uh, the engineers are there they should be fixed for this they cannot be let off so easily fair enough uh, mr mukunda do you also agree mr harish saying there that uh, you know having too many agencies only causes more confusion and there should be just one agency taking care of this most certainly the accountability factor must be decided beforehand only before awarding of contract who is responsible for safety of anybody who gets into a situation of an accident or accidental death and all that and it should be in fact in future they should take care to see that they include it in the uh, tender document also somebody should be held accountable for this there is no question of anybody doing any favor to anybody this is their fundamental duty to do that this is the way things are have to be handled by civic agencies who are responsible for the welfare the immediate welfare of uh, people involved in the work and also overall uh, welfare of the people of the city Mr. Harish, also tell me this: the BBMP is uh, right now conducting an investigation uh, uh, in this case, uh, and uh, you know the report will be out very soon. But uh, uh, do you think uh, there must be some kind of probe uh, here? Uh, uh, what would you suggest? Uh, uh, and you know, in making think, uh, sure, in making sure that a case like this is not lost. No, no, madam. What I think uh, Mukund rightly said: see, there is a tender document. Whenever a contract is awarded. By, in, by means of a tender document, everything will be included in that. Now, what we have to do is we have to take the tender document, see what all conditions they have put, and whoever is responsible, they should be fixed, and they should be booked. I think it should be a criminal case. They should book for murder only. They should not book less than that. A criminal case should be booked against all these three people: the BDA engineer, BWSSP engineer, BBMP engineer, and the contractor also. all the four people should be booked and i think a tender document would have covered everything madam and uh, they would have put a condition that the site after we hand over the site to a contractor it is the duty of the contractor to keep uh, security guards there and take safety measures even for their own people who are working there fair enough that is fair enough Yeah, okay, Mr. Har uh, Mr. Harish, yeah, I, uh, uh, tell me this at this point also. Uh, do you think the state government should also step in, uh, considering there's so much confusion between the agencies, the BBMP, uh, you know, uh, passing the buck to the BDA, the the BDA saying that the BBMP is responsible? No, I think uh, our uh, chief minister is only in charge for Bangalore uh, development. Uh, this one is the uh, Bangalore uh, in the minister. and we have a district in charge minister also i think they should also step in here and tell, see who is who has done wrong and what action should be taken against this engineers and the contractor also because it is their duty also because urban development i think it's with the chief minister itself and bda bws sp and bbmp comes under him directly so he is also responsible for this Mr Mukunda I'll, I'll uh, let you have the last word now tell us uh, uh, what according to you needs to be done as soon as possible to ensure that things like this don't happen See uh, they have to take receive uh, the agency which is basically responsible for this is BBMP there is no doubt whatever may be the status the status may be 
that they had handed it over to BDA and some contractor was awarded the job. Down the line it went to so many other agencies. The contractor might have subcontracted to somebody. We are not worried about that. Basically, it is the property of BBMP and it's BBMP's responsibility to maintain all aspects of the stormwater drain. And if they don't do that, they should be penalized and the proper compensation after having lost the life of a small child, a seven-year-old child, I think a proper compensation should be given, which is not uh, uh, in the region of one lakh, two lakhs and all that. It must be much, much more than that. And they should really set the, uh, change the mindset of people who are undertaking such contracts in future. It must be a test case like that. It has to be done. And uh, on the other side, in terms of safety and security, it should be made the responsibility of overall responsibility BBMP and BBMP in turn can demand it from the contractor. There is nothing uh, wrong with that. The contractor has to provide that. If he doesn't provide, then the BBMP can collect it from the contractor. But basically, BBMP has to be responsible for all these things. Well, the civic body has to be made accountable there. Coming in from uh, the activist, I thank you both, uh, gentlemen, for joining us here on Magic Bricks. Now, uh, compensation of one lakh rupees is not enough. That's the word. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, perhaps uh, uh, one single agency instead of uh, different agencies would also help. Uh, but this is one case that we're not letting go of here on Magic Bricks. Now, we'll keep a very, very close eye on and bring you regular updates. Uh, moving on now, the fight for the mayoral elections in Mumbai is getting uh, murkier with each passing minute. Highly placed Sena sources have told Magic Bricks now that current tally leader Shiv Sena might get support from the MN in fact, MNS as well has indicated that it may support the Shiv Sena in the civic body as they share a common ideology. Disha Shah gets us the latest. Absolutely. Thakre Cousins, uh, Shiv Sena and MNS may come together for the BMC's mayor poll, which is slated to be on the 8th of March this year. What we understand at this point from a very highly placed source in the Shiv Sena is uh, that the party may seek support of MNS, uh, which has seven seats in its kitty at this point. And Shiv Sena, of course, uh, had bagged uh, 84 uh, seats and now they are at 88 with the help of four independent cooperators. So of course, if MNS and Shiv Sena come together then the tally will go up to 95 seats which is little better than uh, the current seats that Shiv Sena holds at this point and of course what we understand is that MNS the, co the cousin party could be a high possibility because they both share the similar agenda of targeting Marathi Manus of having similar ideologies and of course there were speculations that Shiv Sena could of course uh, uh, get into talks with other parties like NCP and Congress but of course NCP on Friday clearly ruled out saying that they are not supporting either party not even Shiv Sena and BJP but they are likely to get into alliance with Congress is uh, that's the word coming in from NCP so of course all these uh, two parties are out of question and on Thursday we had reported on our channel that Shiv Sena is clearly not getting into alliance with the BJP at least for the mayor's poll so of course we have to wait and watch on the 8th of March as to who will be the new mayor for Mumbai this is Jasha Shah for Magic Picks Now. In the meantime, NCP is in talks with the Congress party with a view to form an alliance. The party has already ruled out any possibility of forming an alliance with the BJP and the Shiv Sena. Listen in to Sunil Tatkare and Praful Patel on this. We'll keep equal distance with this, both the parties. We are thinking to go ahead with the like-minded parties. Of course, Congress is one of that. Some other parties also, those who are secular parties, will make alliance with them. We will fight in future. There are reports about the no-confidence motion against BJP. Is that still uh, in the works? Are you looking at doing that? I don't feel any chances of no-confidence motion moved by the NCP because we are at the number 41. But what does Shiv Sena take the stands is an important. But my gut feeling says that Shiv Sena will never dare to withdraw the support because they can't survive without power. The big fight is the mayoral elections that will happen on the 8th of March. Uh, tell me this, uh, I, which party will you be supporting uh, for these elections? No, no question of supporting to the party because we are keeping the equal distance with the Sena and BJP. See, tomorrow is the last day to file the nomination. We'll see tomorrow. 
who exactly are the filing the nominations whether again they are coming back like kalyan dumili corporation or what let us wait for few hours and then we'll come again and we'll speak to you and what is the congress party stand uh, uh, on forming an alliance with the ncp have you had talks with the congress so party we had some talk we'll be sitting today in the evening also with the congress leader and we'll see what this is we have just uh, reviewed the entire results uh, in the state uh, zilla parishad and the corporations and uh, we have uh, you know largely a view that we should go with like minded parties and so, uh, so effectively you're saying you will not partner with the shiv sena or the bjp we can't uh, you see when you say like minded parties obviously it it it, uh, it does not reflect uh, the view which uh, you are talking about but at the same time let us see let us see what happens on the 8th how the two parties you know they've been talking all the time against each other for all you know they may be together so you know let the actually cat be out of the bag that's a wrap here on the big story stay with magic pick sound you can watch live tv on our website mbnow.in Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magic bricks now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at magic bricks now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magic bricks now.